you're out on the fire line, which hand tool are you going to select? Hey there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Ronnie Ocampo. I'm a former wildland firefighter, and on this channel, we talk all things wildland firefighting. So if you're interested in that, I highly suggest you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you guys know when I upload. Like I said, today we're talking about wildland firefighting hand tools, and I'm going to rank my top five hand tools because I don't like all the hand tools. When you talk to firefighters and they find a tool that they, is just their ride or die, they can be a little offended if you don't like their hand tool. So I apologize, but this is my preference. So I'll rank those at the very end. So there's gonna be three main categories. You have your cutting tools, then you have your scraping slash smothering tools, and then you have your supportive tools and equipment. So today we're just gonna focus on the cutting and the scraping tools. Now, when you get to a fire, the goal is to clear out all the fuel and get down to that mineral soil. I feel like the tool order is more important on like hotshot crews and hand crews versus a engine crew. Like we have water with us and that's like our main tool that we use. And then any hand tools, you just, we just kind of picked which ones we wanted. There was only four of us. So it's just whatever your preference was, was the one that we chose. So here's the scenario. You are out on a hillside, say there's some tall brush, some shrubs, some cheatgrass you have to get through. So we're going to send in a hotshot crew to go ahead and clear out a path using their chainsaws and then you are on a hand crew behind them so you're on a 20-man hand crew now the order in which the tools are used like i said are very important so we're going to use the cutting tools first right so this is like your pulaski your sandvik your brush hook and your say your axe and your double-edged axe and then we're going to use the scraping tool so this is your mcleod your shovel your combi your i don't know how to pronounce this ads ho aids ho that is incorrect i know i don't know i'm so sorry about the pronunciation but it's basically it's a hoe so <laughs> and then of course you're gonna have your support equipment which like, like i said if you guys are interested in a video on that we can do that but today we're gonna focus on the cutting and scraping tools so let's talk about the plasky you have the cutting edge which is like an axe and then you have the grubbing end which is more like a hoe so you can kind of start churning up the soil and start getting digging into those roots so then your axe and your double-edged axe is typically used to support felling operations. You're going to go ahead and help chop down trees, things like that. Next, we have the brush hook. So that's going to come before the Pulaski, actually. And that's going to cut down all that tall brush. And then if you want, you can send in a Sawyer team after that. But it just kind of clears out that dense, thick brush that's pretty tall. And then you have the Sandvik. So it's kind of like the brush hook, but it's used to clear out the medium size to small brush. Now we'll talk about the scraping tool. So the first one we'll talk about is the McLeod. So as you'll see, there's a sharp edge on one side and then a rake on the other side. So this tool is really used to help improve the fire line. It's actually a really quick tool to get a lot of material out of the way. So an example would be that you're by a tree, like a thick pine tree. So you can use that rake edge to pull all those pine needles, that grass, pine cones, moss out of the way, and then use that sharp edge side to really clean up that um, mineral soil. Next, we'll talk about the combination tool or the combi. So one side is a pick-like side and the other side is a shovel slash hoe side. So the pick side you can use for in like rocky areas to get down in those rocks and then also to get soil clumps out and roots. And then the shovel side slash hoe side is used to scrape all that material out and also you can use it to trench as well. Next, we'll talk about the shovel. So you can use this as a scraping and or smothering tool depending on how you want to use it, which is probably be a combination of the two. You can use it to scrape to mineral soil. You can use it to cut small shrubs and grass, and you can also use it to pick up dirt to smother the flames, or you can pat it down if you really wanted to. Um, so there's different ways you can use a shovel. And then the last one we'll talk about is the hoe. So you'll use this when you have either layers of grass you have to get through or thick duff so you can get down into there and scrape that material away to get down to that mineral soil and then also it's really good for heavy grubbing getting down into those roots as well and pulling that material out and for trenching all right let's get to ranking these bad boys so my number five would have to be the shovel i don't enjoy the shovel whatsoever it is not my favorite i know that you can cut with it you can scrape with it you can dig with it you know i know people love the shovel i don't it's not my favorite i don't like it 
My number four is the combi. And the only reason that I put it as number four instead of number three is that stupid point where you have to tighten that thing down because if you don't get it tight enough, your entire tool will collapse on you and it drives me insane. So if you just have a strong grip and you can just wrench that thing down, it's a fantastic tool. It's great, I love it. However, if you don't, you have to keep putting that thing back together and it drives me insane. So that's why it's at my number four. My number three is the McLeod. I really like the rake side of it because you can get all that grass, the dirt, the all that material out of the way. And then the cutting edge side, you can just really clean that up and get all that out of the way. It's really quick, it's really fast. I think it's very effective. I don't sometimes enjoy the shape of it, but it's fine, it's a really good tool. I do enjoy it. Then my number two is the ads hoe or whatever it's called, the hoe. I like that side. I know all the previous tools, they have two different sides. You can use them for different things. Um, this is just a really simple tool. You can use it to cut into the soil, cut into the grass, rip that out, and then also scrape away the material. It's just a really simple, effective, easy tool. And then my number one is the Pulaski. This is my go-to tool every time. So you have the cutting edge side so I can cut down some trees if I need to, limb some trees up, and then also you have that grubbing side. So it's, it's like the perfect combination tool for me. I really enjoy it. And again, I haven't tried all the tools. I haven't used a brush tool. I haven't used a Sandvik. I know there's like a fire swatter and some other tools that I haven't ever used. These five are the ones that I've actually tried and I've used before. So please leave your list down below from five down to one or your top three. Let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear your guys' opinion on what is the best tool to use. Like I said, you're going to see some pretty heated people probably down in there of like, this is the number one tool. <laughs> so <laughs> once you find your tool that just kind of fits your style and how you do it, you just get into the groove of things. It's like magic, it's, it's magic and it's a, a pair made in heaven. So you have to play around, figure out which tool you like, how you use it. So it's just kind of your preference. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you guys are checking down the description box below. I have tons of resources for you up on my website. And I also just published up on Amazon the advice from Season Wildland Firefighters. So you can actually get a physical copy of the book, but I also have it in ebook version. So make sure you guys are checking that out. I will hopefully see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Check out